Biodiversity is one facet of something fractal. It creates something greater than the sum of its parts. Something resilient and evolving. It is fractal because it can be found everywhere, on every order of magnitude, interconnected with everything else. For this project, I attempted to create something interconnected something greater than the sum of its parts, something that operates on different orders of magnitude, and something that is a symbol of life. Using a doll as a model, I had friends, family, and strangers draw dozens of pictures of a baby. Like the diversity of animals in the wild or grasses on the prairie, I had a multitude of different interpretations, concepts, and techniques of what the baby looked like in two dimensions. In an ecosystem, countless life forms are united as one great, complex living system, greater than the sum of its parts. I attempted to use all of the drawings of the baby to create one thing with more depth than any one of the other things individually. I scanned the drawings and entered them into a 3D imaging program online to generate one three-dimensional baby from three dozen distinct two-dimensional ones. Biodiversity is in the lining of your stomach and in the pores on the surface of your skin. It is the ecosystem formed by the mice in your walls, the crumbs on your floor, and your prowling cat. It is the food chain of the Serengeti, but it is also the food sourcing of your Big Mac. Furthermore, Resilience and diversity goes beyond biology, into humanity and technology. The multitude of cultures in a classroom counteract parochialism like a healthy garden prevents infestation. The varying infrastructure of a city facilitates transportation and mitosis with complexity and grace tantamount to that of a cell. And, in this example, artificial intelligence brings together multiple flat ideas created by differing views and techniques and creates one resilient, deep, interconnected idea, the baby in three dimensions. Unfortunately, the program did not draw enough links between the drawings, and no one three-dimensional baby was fully formed. The fact is, there was not enough population and diversity of drawings to provide the ground for the 3D image. With enough diversity, the baby could take on life, form grace, like an old oak tree, or the Louisiana Bayou. The crucial thing is, the baby would only become more real and more vivid the more people added their own renditions to the mix.